Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's a bit of a sad day around here, uh, around your area too, because Google has announced they're closing down their G Plus network. The G Plus network supported G Plus communities, and it's in these major communities that custom watch face designers have made available to you, to me, to the public, their really cool Android-based uh, smartwatch watch face designs. Well, those communities are disappearing soon. That's right, they're gonna go away. And when they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. A lot of these developers came, participated, and left. The only place their work exists is in these G Plus communities. So your only chance of getting them is now. Don't even think about asking me. No, nope, I have them, yeah. And you've seen a lot of them that I show on, uh, on, on various videos. But because of ethics and, and proper rights, they belong to the designers, and only the designers can offer them for download. So I won't be putting their work up on the web for you to download, you know, unless they authorize it and I've got the time to do it, neither of which has happened. So I'm telling you right now, before they're gone, whether you have a smartwatch or not, I highly encourage you to go over here, find the ones that you like, and download them onto your computer. Then you've got them. If you upgrade and get yourself an Android watch someday, you've got really cool custom faces to put on them. So let's go over it. They're separated into two categories. There's the larger group communities, and then there's individuals who have created a lot of watch faces, and they've made their own G Plus communities that they offer up their creations. They're all listed here. They're gonna be, uh, the links will be in the show notes too that you can click on and head over there to, to go into each and every one of them and peruse them and download them. Normally what happens, you go in, you see a, a, a page, a, a little note they've put up that has a link on it that takes you to their uh, Google Drive, and you're just downloading directly from their Google Drive or whatever resource they're using to host their pages. Just download that zip file to your computer, unzip it, and you'll have a folder, and that folder is what you'll drop into your watch in the clock skin folder in the watch. I know, if you don't know all about that stuff, you'll learn, because that's how you install them, and we've got videos, and they will stay up that talk about that. Let's walk through quickly. This is a primary one. If you don't do anything else, go to this round Android smartwatches community and um, look around there. It's really extensive, exhaustive, and exhausting by the time you go through them all. But there's lots and lots of really, really good watch faces, all designed for round Android watches. If you have a square watch or you're interested in getting one, pop over here too. Little less populated, but most of the watch faces here are designed to work on watches with edges. This one now is the newest one, the round and square Android smart watches. A. Kinsella uh, is the uh, host of that one, and he's really, really happy and uh, customizing watch faces for a rectangular watch. I know, round and square, round plus square equals rectangular, right? That's the new math. This is the one, it's the LEM4 Pro. There's also the original LEM4, and both of them have the same form factor screen. And some of the watch faces that he has hosted here, uh, I'm gonna show you right now, because we haven't seen them anywhere else. This is really, really new stuff. If you're thinking of getting this watch, you wanna download these watch faces. All right, before I get into that, let's go through the rest. Alrod. Alrod has a phenomenal collection of free and by donation watch faces. This is his community. I think he's getting everything set up on a web page as well, so he won't be losing all of his stuff to the ethers when Google pulls the plug. But in the meantime, this is the best place to go to look over his work and get tied into his uh, resources to download tons and tons of what you, you get them all at once and then you can look through them on your computer at your leisure and pick out which ones you want to install uh, most of these are one by one you go and look at that particular face and and pull it down if you want to uh, andrew davis andrew somers blood report david gary uh, jurgen all of these guys are individual developers 
many of whom have their work up here on this one, but also have their work on their own uh, G+. So if you really like what Andrew Davis does, or Andrew Somers, or, or, or any of these guys, head on over to their specific G+, community now, and download the stuff that you'd like to, to have. This stuff is offered for free, folks. It's out there right now, and it really um, behooves you, honestly, to get there. I don't know when it's going to happen. I've heard everything from immediately to the end of this month to the end of this year. But when Google pulls the plug on G+, they're gone. All right, for those of you who want to stick around a little bit longer to look, uh, this watch face, notice its layout, and it's going to be a slightly different pattern here in a rectangular watch with step count and such. By the way, that little floating white dot there, most of you know. Let me put it on a different face, make it a little easier to see. This is cool. This is cool. Um, the little white dot, I'll cover that first. When you tap that, that brings up, if I can get right on it, there you go. The uh, Floating Toucher, which is an app that uh, it literally puts a, a, a launcher right on top of your original watch face, and you can go all over the place. Like you can go and look at all of your apps. You can you can do things like that. And uh, it's not part of any of the watch face designs, but I want to keep it on there. So this is what it would look like with the dot. Just imagine the dot's not there if you don't have that. This watch face and similar ones were original round faces that Adrian has managed to stretch and make oval. And they actually look pretty cool on this uh, big rectangular watch. Really impressed with that um, approach. The only place you can get them is at his round and square Android smartwatches, as far as I know. And that is a G Plus community that is disappearing soon. You like that idea? Uh, head on over and get them now. Let's show you a couple more. Here's a, another round one that's been converted to really look on. And look at that with the orange band. Yeah, that is slick. That is really nice. Here's another one. Again, a round one turned oval. And I think there's a trick to stretching it so that everything looks right and the uh, tick marks end up in the right place. Um, but it's very well done. Here's a standard rectangular one with information, month and date, and yeah, you know, all the goodies on it. Here's another round one, sort of, both rectangular and round. Look at that. You've got the curved parts. Wow, wow, creativity here. A call, a call out also to other uh, developers, designers, that if you want to design for this watch, here's some really great ideas and techniques that you can try. And of course, Wow, okay. You can contact uh, Adrian over there at uh, his uh, round and square Android smartwatches um, site and play around with, with what he's doing and talk to him about it. This is interesting. You're going to see Alrod coming up in a minute who's taken a similar approach with this little cutout colored section thing going on down here um, and done a, a, a different twist with it. So Remember this particular watch face, and we'll move on. Oh, interesting, when I touch and hold it, glow, something was glowing on the side. Okay, here's another circle turned oval. There aren't too many, so I'm taking my time to go through them with you. This we've seen in the custom or in the stock watch faces that you can download on many watches, and it's round uh, typically, but now it's laid out rectangularly. And then this one, which is a nice bright one. Okay, that's an example of the ones that you'll find on round and square Android smartwatches. Now, we're going to jump over to Alrod and uh, a few of his, because he's really just starting to work on this. Uh, this is a typical square one. This is what it normally would look like on a square watch, and I'm sure you'll find this watch face on the square Android smartwatches. So if you like downloading any of those to work on here, you'll get them, but you'll get the, the black barrier on the left and right, which is nice. You can see the little uh, dot pretty clearly uh, with this kind of layout. However, if you want to expand it a bit, I'm going to come over to here. Now, this is what he's done to draw it out now to make this fit more realistically for a rectangular watch. 
and it dresses it up nice. Looks like a bright sunshine pattern to me with the lines and everything. Really nicely, uh, nicely done. I jump because back here in the middle is a take on the new Apple Watch face that Alrod's put together with weather and temperature and seconds ticking down here and so forth. The uh, complications that he's added to the corners of the rectangular watch working again now with a circular watch. So those of you who want to modify or update a round watch face to work here and take advantage of the corners, check out the code that he's using um, with this particular watch face. All right, now here we go. Remember I told you that one uh, with the little cutout circle thing that's changing colors? This is like uh, what the Tesla watch face that he's proud of and he did in round for a long, long time ago. And now here's a little modification for the, uh, the rectangular environment where he's got a little chasing pattern around the edge to add some excitement, some enhancement to the overall design. Interesting. Uh, these, I don't know if, if he's going to put these out. There's something he's working on, and I'm showing him videos of them back and forth uh, while he's working on them. Uh, here's the same concept, but with uh, green and red chasing in different directions. Again, another way of working with round faces without doing much modification to the face itself, but being able to enhance it to work in a rectangular environment. All right, that's what I wanted to show you on the LEM4 Pro. These, again, are the watch face groups uh, of custom watch faces that are sitting there right now available for you to download, but will be disappearing soon. And that's the purpose of this video, to encourage you guys to get out there, connect, and download your watch faces. You can put them on your watch anytime you want, as long as you've got them. So get them. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.